I didn't sleep good last night. <laughs> and the only reason I think I didn't sleep good. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. I was awake multiple times last night and I kept waking up and I don't know why. And I seriously think it might have been because of my new fridge. You see, my old fridge and freezer that I used to have used to vibrate. When that compressor kicked in, the whole van shook. And because it's summertime and it's warmer outside, the compressor kicks on a lot more often. So I think over the last year of that vibrating fridge of mine that I just kind of used to hate and then I got used to the vibration, now I took the vibrating fridge away, the malfunctioning fridge away, and now it's back to what it was when I originally bought my old fridge. Just quiet. The compressor kicks on, it's just quiet. I think I got a bad night's sleep because my new fridge works good. <laughs> How silly is that? I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, maybe it's just because it's quiet in here. Maybe it's because I don't feel that vibration all night. That's what it was. It was like just a, a white noise and a feeling like this little uh, vibration. Anyway, guys, waking up this morning at good old beautiful Walmart. When I mean we're waking up, that means me and you, buddy. Cruzy. Cruzy bear. Hey, you want to wakey, wakey? Hey, you want to wake up maybe? Maybe? <laughs> I sorry buddy I'll stop picking on you in the morning looks like a pretty day out there though looks like another nice day cruzy are we ready to go are we ready to go yet <laughs> today's a sunglasses kind of day it's trying to be healthier baby just trying to be healthier Putting groceries in the new fridge. All right, guacamole's in there. Corn. Man, this, this fridge seems bigger than my last one. And some crackers, which is usually a bad idea, but I bought some anyway. I am doing a little project right now. So we're going to reattach this to there so we could strap this new fridge down. So how this works is this goes up onto a thing and then goes click, locks itself down, and then I put a strap around there to hold it. That way, if it ever bounces around, it's not going to come up. All right, now this goes onto here, and then I put a little cable strap around there to hold it in, and now when this thing bounces up and down, I'm not gonna lose my, lose my fridge. So now all we do here, is strap this around. That's it. Bada boom. One fridge secured from the front. So now when it bounces around, this ain't going nowhere. So I have another one of these we need to secure on the back side. So this one's right here. Done deal. 
Come see what I did. She's in there. Oh, Aren't you proud? Yes, I am. Did you hurt yourself? Nope. Oh, nope. I'm proud. No cuts. I'm proud. Thank you. No, we're good. <laughs> Anybody? Hi, Cozy. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Welcome. That one's pretty cool. That's awesome. My next project, so on the back here, there's a rear vent on my fridge. Uh, Andy from Overland Interiors made me this last time to go over it, so it allows some airflow over here. There's more vents on the side and on the front of this one. This one just I'll make sure that my bed doesn't shove up against the vent there. So I need to cut this little corner trim piece just cut the corner out of it, that way I can get the vent around it. It's just plastic, so it should cut fairly easy. It's hard plastic, but it's working. So I'm just gonna run a bead of silicone down here. And this thing just goes down and over that. Spill the good old Tim Hortons. Oh yeah, this, thing, this thing's not going anywhere. Another little project I want to do is put my Starlink in the pull-out drawer. I think it'd be more convenient to put it in the very first spot here, but that's where I keep my recovery gear. Um, I might move the recovery gear back to the back bin though. I also don't want to wreck the lids on these things because I kind of like the look of it with all those little honeycombs in there. But what I would have to do is to cut this hole a little bit wider so the Starlink thing can come out. Problem is, I'd be doing this in the parking lot of Walmart, which means that cut would not be very nice and would not look very good. So, uh, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure I can rearrange things in here. That one's really full. But this back one, I think we could make some room with. Like this case is empty. My shoes and stuff can go inside. So I might move my recovery gear or move the clutter drawer back here, recovery gear to here, and then my Starlink here. Hey Donovan, I got license plates here I haven't opened yet. I also got another one here from Angie Lindsay. Here's that outdoor shower that I've got that I just don't use. But I have it just in case. All right, let's hope I can get all this recovery gear into this one here. I also have my folding table in here as well. I think we should be good. in there perfectly the only thing that sticks up is that so the lid won't go on there so I'm gonna need to cut a hole right where that is oh look at that just barely <laughs> is there any chance I can shop at your house again what do you have that two inch hole cutter See, it's nice when you travel with two because I have things that she doesn't and she has things that I don't have. She has a two inch hole cutter, so I'm hoping one two inch hole will work. If not, I'll just cut two of them. I should probably double, double check this. Measure twice, cut once, right? Oh, you are. Man, you are hooked up, girl. You got a rolling shop here. <laughs> uh, sanding discs. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm coming to your house more often. Mm -hmm.
I guess the circle goes with my bubbles. Shaved it out right there. Fits right over the Starlink, no problems at all. Bada boom. Done deal. Starlink in its own home. Final test. You want to tell everybody it's the morning? Hey, it's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. Well, it's four o'clock in the morning and a brand new day. I just stopped filming yesterday. All I have in here for sugar is like dirty stuff at the bottom. <laughs> and two kibs. Um, I don't think I'm that desperate for sugar. Some of it's kind of clean. I've really been enjoying this part of my morning. Yeah, the coffee beans is just super satisfying. So somebody in my comments recommended this. They're like, no, you flip the blender over and then you put the, that was a bad idea. Look at the mess I made. <laughs> so whoever made that comment, that was a fail. Somebody in my comments the other day see me transfer coffee from my grinder into here and they were like, no, 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 no. You got to flip the thing over and put it in the lid and then put the lid over, it's cleaner. <laughs> fail. Let's get in the morning goodies. Specifically, what coarseness of grind is I decided to so hold on. General, let, let me pause that. See, I'm new to this grinding thing. I'm like, what's the difference between coarse grind and fine grind? I don't know. So I'm I'm going to the Academy of YouTube to find out. So in this case, we're gonna have the third one here. We have a medium fine grind. On a pour over method, I went a little chunky today. You're supposed to go on a finer grind. Doing it this way. The finer grind is because water gets over more of it before it gets into your cup. Uh, where if you're going to use a French press, you use more of a coarser grind because it sits in there for like up to four minutes. According to that, I've never used a French press, but yeah. So now I know I need to grind it a little bit more. I feel like a crackhead right now. Is sugar really that important, Chrome? Ah, screw it. Let's do it. Hey, let's do this. I feel like such a junkie. <laughs> These are my side window dividers that I put up on both of my front side windows just about every single day. So all it is is just plastic cardboard. I got this from a craft store called Michaels because you get them in sizes that are that big. I know you can buy these in bigger pieces from the hardware store, which is probably way cheaper. But I buy these because they are pretty close ready to fit. Like, I don't need to adjust this thing very much at all. Height-wise, nothing. All I gotta do is just cut the edge off this one. But I'm gonna replace these because um, over time they get creased and they push and then what happens is you get them in the window and they don't stay very well. And the last time I made these, I cut them a little bit too short. So they don't exactly stick as good as I would like. So I'm gonna cut them this time a little bit wider. So these things always come with a sticker on one side. So we place that right up against there. And then we're gonna cut this side off, but this time a little wider. I should probably do this on the ground to be a straighter cut, but. That's actually pretty good. So yeah, I pop these in there. That way when someone walks by my van, they can't see in the side windows. Oh, that's perfect. Way tighter than it was last time. I really like this. Now, it's not gonna fall out. So the side ones go on every day. So every time I go into a grocery store or leave the van at all, those go up every single time because of this guy. And sometimes I will take the flat ones 
and just wedge them in the corners. And this is where I keep them down here. I'll take the big ones and I'll just wedge them in there just to kind of cover up anybody from seeing here and down. Cause this is where a little cruisy bear sleeps. I definitely don't do this on hot days. That's done when I go in to get groceries in the morning or run in to get coffee or have to go in somewhere in the evening when it's cooler. I don't leave the dog in here during the day because that's just dangerous. A hot dog in the van is never good. A warm hot dog is good, but not that cute little bugger over there. Uh, but I do this just to keep people from looking in. Also, when I'm in the van here at night, covering the windows like that allows me to leave my curtains open a bit so I can still see what's going on on the other side of that. So if something were to go sideways outside, I could jump into my driver's seat without anybody noticing and start my van, rip the dividers down and take off if I need. I had to do that one time. There were some people beside my van and they were being loud and obnoxious and I scared the crap out of them because they didn't see me get in the front of the van thanks to my dividers. But let me show you what it looks like from the outside. Right? You'd never know that. That wasn't just a full on blacked out window. <laughs> right? It's pretty good. I mean, you can still see through it, but who cares at that point? For the most part, it's covered. Yeah, right? Couldn't see in to see Cruzy. And these ones aren't really necessary. Like you can tell that's covered over, but those aren't necessary. I use these 10% of the time, these 100% of the time. Really felt good to start working on some of those projects. And I think the project from yesterday should be dry by now. So we'll go finish that one off. These dividers are going to Emmy's home. I'm a big uh, notepad kind of guy. But anyway, I didn't have any electrical tape and I needed to secure this to let that, um, that silicone set. So I just used some of Cruzy stickers. <laughs> I have lots of these in the van, so it work. Oh yeah, she's secure. That's awesome. What other projects can I do? <laughs> oh, something else I did last night. Who didn't film this, but... I went through and made sure all my clothes were perfectly folded. This one was the bad one. So I do have a lot of clothes. I have a clothes and a shoe problem. <laughs> I've been like that my whole life. So this is shorts and one pairs of pants because I'm a shorts guy. These are all my merchandise. So like Van City Van Life shirts, my Weirdos Unite shirts, and uh, all the stuff that I sell or used to sell. These shirts here are all non-channel related shirts. And those over there, it's my flannel collection pair of jogging pants just in case it gets cold and uh, a pair of swim trunks and all nice and neatly organized this back one turns into a, a big huge mess really 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 fast that one stays pretty good because that's the one i use on a daily felt good to get that project done that cubby there on the other hand is full of like hoodies and uh a light jacket a super light jacket, um, a hoodie, another hoodie, <laughs> this thing goes forever, and uh, another hoodie. I'm not really sure if this winter jacket is going to fit anymore because I've lost some weight, but I'm going to keep it just in case it does this winter. And yeah, just like, seriously guys, hoodies out the wazoo. I... I'm in a great big hoodie phase right now. Not so much because it's summertime, but yeah, picked myself up a few hoodies. I haven't worn a flannel in a while. It's been warm out. Today, it's a little bit chilly and windy. Oh, nothing better than tossing on a flannel, let me tell you. What do you guys say? Top button open, top button done up. What do you think? I'm not sure. <laughs> Why is it not in the shot? Mm. Boom. 
I'm super glad that I gave Starlink a permanent home. I used to keep it on top of my fridge. The benefit to having it inside the van is I could grab it from the fridge, put it on the base while being inside of my van, open the door, climb out and pop it up on, on my roof outside. I could do that without even touching the pavement out there and get it all set up without technically fully leaving my van. Where now, if I want to set the Starlink up, if it's snowing or raining or whatever the scenario is, I have to get out of my van, walk around the back, open up my spare tire carrier, pull out the drawer just to get it out. It's a bit more of a process, but then I don't have that giant thing inside my home because that is one downfall about the Starlink is it's a bit cumbersome. It would be okay if I was building a van and I had the Starlink during my van build so I could build around it, but my van was built pre-adding that large thing to my life. But uh, I am glad it's out of my van though. And that little bit of a process to now go around to set it back up is not a deal breaker whatsoever. I used to walk around to go get in my fridge every day and I never complained. So to throw it up to go to work and do some YouTube stuff, it's not going to bother me. Because now I don't have to go around to get into my fridge. Now I can do it from right here. All I gotta do is reach over and bada boom. I can grab cherries, um, what do we got, leafy greens, and we have a zip tie in my fridge, why? <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah, strawberries, whatever I want. No more running around for that. So I would say to go around once a day to pull out my Starlink is not a big deal whatsoever. Anyway guys, thanks for watching today's video and I might see you guys back here tomorrow for another one or in a couple of days. I'll see you soon.